we're doing right now is our skipper Mark is driving up there. He's looking for signs of life, looking for uh, birds flying, kelp, stuff like that. So once we find something like that, he's going to bring the boat in that area. We're bringing the trolling lines, we'll get bait in the water. What I like to do when we pull up to a kelp or we get that first bite is to throw a jig. This is one of the many ways that you can fish for tuna. But my favorite way is to take a jig like this. And they come in all kinds of different sizes and colors. But for me, I like a jig like this, mackerel pattern. And uh, I'm normally gonna throw something around a three and three eighths or four and a half. And I like something with split rings, welded split rings like this jig. So it's gonna move freely. And I like the welded rings because I don't know if it's gonna be a five pound yellowtail or a 200 pound tuna. And with the welded rings, you don't have to worry about that ring popping open and losing the fish. But a jig like this works really good. You're gonna cast it right to the kelp and let it sink a little bit and then wind it really fast back to the boat. Now, if we get bit on the trolling rods, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do the same thing, except I don't, I'm not gonna go back there and get in the mess with everybody that are bringing those trolling fish. We need to get those fish to the boat right away. So I would just throw the, the bait off the bow and as the boat slides to a stop, it's gonna turn sideways. My bait will get right back there where the fish are, wind it back and hopefully pick off a fish that way. So it's just one of the many techniques. You know, trolling's one technique, using live bait is another technique, and then throwing an artificial, a metal jig like this is just another technique too. They all work, and you have to be prepared to do a little bit of all that when you're out here fishing. <laughs>